massive shot. Earning Lindsay Davenport the early break. At points like that, Pam, show you just how much firepower Davenport ha has from both sides. I mean, there's really not much Hingis can do if these shots are going in. I mean, she's on the line, taking it on the rise, and it looks effortless. She gets a lot of pace behind her shots. Last year, at the end of the year, Lindsay Davenport dominated Martina Hingis in a couple of finals here and also at the Chase Championships. And Davenport's first serve was dominant. And we'll see whether or not that can continue this year. She really found a groove at the end of 99. Well, how many times did we see Davenport ace? is out wide on the deuce side and up the tee on the ad. That was her bread and butter serve. And she went to it even though she knew, Kingus knew she was going there. It was that successful for her. Love 30. Oh, now there you go. That's the anticipation you were just speaking about, Mary Jo. Well, everybody knows, especially Martina Hingis, she's one of the smartest players on the tour, the tendencies of Davenport. And this is the favorite serve, the one out wide on this deuce side. But Hingis takes a step over before Davenport served it to anticipate. Actually, when we showed that replay, I was surprised she didn't hop to her right as much as I thought she did. It was more just her quickness to get out there, and then she gambled. Once she knew she was stretched out wide, she knew she had to do something special with the ball and did. Still, two more break points. the best way to keep King is on is just keep mixing up that serve and that's what a great server does doesn't only pound it down into the court but mixes it up out wide to the body using all her options short in the box and just pretty much in the middle of the box. Davenport having all sorts of time to put that ball away. mistake from Hingis looks like an unforced error, but that is such a heavy ball from Davenport that I would certainly put that in a forced error category. I agree 100% with you on that one, Pam. People don't realize how fast and hard that ball's coming. I mean, it's pushing Hingis back, and Hingis is one of the best players to take the power from her opponents and use it to her advantage. I mean, she holds her ground like an Andre Agassi does. second serve a little deeper in the court but it didn't get her it didn't get her much at all of the advantage. 
Arena Championship, starting off with three straight breaks. Davenport to serve after this. defense from Martina Hingis to chase a couple of those balls down. But still, it looks to me, Pam, that Davenport's initiating the point to the Hingis forehand. She's really trying to hit that back end down the line to set up the shorter ball. I think she thinks she's going to expect more short balls off the forehand side of Hingis. 97 miles an hour ace. Her first of the match. 30 love. Control that double handed backhand a lot better than the forehand side. She has such good shoulder turn, such good balance on that side. She hits it a lot closer to the lines. your opponent hit an extra ball. King is just scraping the ball back on numerous occasions in that point, Pam, until finally Davenport just overhit and missed. It's be important for Hingis to be able to dig out some of those points like we just saw. Second ace of the game brings up a game point. First one for the server. It's a 3-1 lead, first set. Bit of pressure on Hingis on this service game. She does not want to get down two breaks. She's had trouble on her serve so far, losing both attempts to hold. Hingis has to start getting a lot more first serves in forward to let Lindsay Davenport take a crack at that second serve. Tremendous back end down the line. Again, we see from Lindsay Davenport. King is on her back foot early in the point, but Davenport, great balance to execute that one. from Davenport. Tremendous footwork from Davenport, something she's improved so much over the last few years. That's the toughest shot we mentioned earlier. That high overhead backhand volley. Unusual move for Davenport. That was a different look. We haven't seen that in a long time. Taking the second serve and shorten up the backswing and hit the return and follow it up. Missed it wide, but it's good to play those new different plays. Right now, Hingis will be thinking, what's Davenport going to do on this second serve? Hey! Hey! Davenport 
court a little frustrated with herself after missing that second serve return. But that second serve was a little bit more directed to the body of Davenport. Davenport had to get out of the way to hit that shot. Settling down on serve to hold their last service game. Davenport, though, up a break. 3-2 in the finals of the Avanta. Want a simple life? Get a simple car. It's not a good option anymore against Davenport, the drop shot. She is so much quicker than she was a couple of years ago. Well, Hing is being a little bit desperate there, trying that drop shot from behind the baseline. And you're right. Davenport not only is moving better, but she's anticipating a lot better. so much about attitude and Davenport actually likes to scramble she likes the fact that she can get to a lot of balls now and you can just see that when she gets out of those points 30 love Hingis taking the ball early, stepping in, really throwing her weight into that backhand shot. Yeah, turn your cell phones off. It's a Sunday. You're supposed to be relaxing. And you're at a tennis match. from Martina Hingis. She said she needed to play deep in the core. She needed to play close to the lines. It's not an easy task, but if anybody can do it, it's Martina Hingis. that winner from Davenport. I do feel, Pam, though, that one of the reasons Martina Hingis has been able to beat Davenport again is her fitness. She's been working out a lot harder to get stronger. She really feels that's the next step for her to be able to compete against a big power player. Of course, Hingis is surrounded by those big power players at the top of women's tennis. 4-2, Lindsay Davenport, up a break, first set. First ace of the match for Martina Hingis. Getting a little extra miles per hour on that one. Olympics this year to rest and to get fit and train for the end of the year. It's paying off. She hasn't sure lost a is. match since the U.S. Open. Yeah. She's playing in the doubles final later today. Hengus with Anna Kornikova, who also skipped the Olympics and has played a ton of tennis the last couple months.
much power and depth behind this shot from Lindsay Davenport. And you can just see when Martina Hingis is stretched out and can't get to it, it's an incredible shot. Ooh, there's another one. Davenport playing the sneak play. Got a little low. Trying to play the topspin two-handed backhand mid-court volley. Just missed. That's actually a high percent shot for Davenport. <laughs> he does that very well, and it was the right play. There again, the variety of Martina Hingis with a serve volley play. Closing matters to 4-3, first set. It was the dawn of a new age. Man would want to give any loose points away. Brings up triple break point for Hingis to draw even in this first set. Martina Hingis pulls even at four games apiece. I think that's one of the differences from a year ago. Davenport wasn't throwing in those sloppy games. She was much more consistent. And this has to give Hingis a little bit of confidence to know that if I can hang in there, maybe she will throw a few more of them. right back and just bumps the ball off both sides and cleans the line. It's a little frustrating when you're on the other side of the net and you've just seen four unforced errors and then you see a shot like that. This perhaps the biggest point so far in the first set. Oh. <laughs> wow. the time to get a little luck on your side. <laughs> Funny little look from Hingis, a bit of a smile. season right here on Channel 4. I'm here for the free checkup. Bring your transmission to Amco. Get a comprehensive checkup for free. And if your transmission is in good condition, save $20 on our Safeguard fluid and filter change. Call 1-800-GO-AMCO. Bring your car, too. It starts in your fingers and toes and travels through your whole body, man. It, like, swims around your heart and your brain. And you can't help but smile as you realize it's time again. That feeling of continual bliss that will last the next five months. 
I dig it, baby. <laughs> Davenport just missed her first serve. This is second serve, serving for the first set. <laughs> Going for a little bit too much on that backhand. Didn't need to play it so close to the line. And the harder you hit the ball, the more you can bring it inside those sidelines. Love 15. straight breaks and then four straight holds and now three points for a th another string of three straight breaks. And I think this game is becoming very mental for Davenport. She's had a tough time closing out sets and matches the last few months and the last time these two played in the finals in Zurich she served for the match 5-4 in the third and lost. So those things creep into your head at times like this. Wow. Blasted that one down. That's the radar gun, but I've been watching it, and they've come up with some 29-mile-an-hour serves. So in other words, I think it's busted. Just a little bit off. That was about 106 or 7, it's usually. It showed 78 miles an hour, and I can tell you, that is not 78-mile-an-hour serve. Davenport has to regroup again. Play a solid game to try to break Hingis one more time. There's something like a bug or something floating that Lindsay wanted to just get out of her eyesight. Hingis, on the other hand, would love to win one of the first few points in the game on her own serve. from behind the baseline to come up with such a winner. Hingis serve not doing enough. Davenport with all the time in the world to hit that punishing second serve. Love 40. in the U.S. and Canada. Seems to go for a little bit more. Concentrating a little harder. Four. 
four straight breaks of serve. Match started with three straight. a big windup on that forehand side that if she's not timing the ball perfectly she can miss hit it make a few unforced errors but again she loses the first two points on her own serve get down low 30. just rushing a little bit too much pam she's not taking her time in between points and once the point starts running through that last ball. Oh, what a great backhand down the line. Tie break coming up, six all. Football is the New York Jets versus the Indianapolis Colts. That's 8.30 p.m. Eastern tonight from the RCA Dome. Let's see how Peyton Manning fares against the New York Jets and Vinny Testaverde. That's tonight at 8.30. Tie break. How about my Dolphins, Pam? They're in the lead. Yeah, and they beat my Ravens a few weeks ago, so hush. <laughs> Two in tie breaks. Martina Hingis has won 39, lost 16. That's a very good percentage. Lindsay Davenport won 52 and lost 35. Not quite as good, but still pretty strong as you would suspect. Well, that was a possible 95 mile an hour serve. Much more accurate. Going down their roster of 20 matches, they've only played three tie breaks. And they haven't played much since 97 in the finals here. It's extraordinary they haven't played a tie break in the last three years. defense by Hingis, forcing Davenport into that unforced error. What a way to scramble and get balls back. Great mobility. Those are the points you talked about earlier, Pam. She's just got to dig out to win this match. Martina Hingis has an extra, extra long racket the way she's stretching out there and getting balls back. Tell you what, this is when you have to make sure your toenails are clipped just right because otherwise <laughs> they just jam up against your foot and it feels horrible. Maybe that's why she screamed. Two all. there for Davenport? Is she a little impatient? What? Well, I think it's there when she's 100% confident. But right now, after losing her serve the last three times, she really should wait for a better shot to go for it. Put a few more balls in the court, get the confidence back, and then start going for it. Two, three. That's a big serve from Davenport. That's not her favorite serve on the ad court. They'll change ends. Three all. 
This is a huge tiebreak for Davenport for her mental state going into the rest of the match. She feels like she's had a lot of opportunities, even though she hasn't had a set point. She served for the set twice. And I know she knows that with her big shots, she should have won this first set already. sideline, but Anne Lucier Ulrich confirming the call. Hingis now up a mini break, serving for 5-3. That was a really, really tight call. Davenport thought it was in to begin with, but no complaints. Just to get a racket on that last shot, Hingis is doing a great job. For you to, all. You have to ask yourself how much it's taking out of her, too. That's where fitness comes to play. <laughs> We've seen Hingis in the past against the Williams sisters and against Davenport lose a little bit of gas towards the end of matches. And that's why she's been working so hard to get fitter, get stronger, so she can play this strong at the end of a match. That double fault, her, her third, brings up two set points. And Denver actually went for that second serve, hitting a little bit harder. Surprised at such a pivotal point in the match to do that. This time the set point will be on Hingis's serve. So what do you do? Do you go for the first serve? You make sure you get the first serve and avoid hitting a second one. It's a tough call to make, Pam. Get the Hingis will go for it, actually. I was going to say, get the first one in. Oh, oh, she went for it, but maybe she shouldn't have. We'll <laughs> see. What do you do here? Do you take a gamble or do you just get it in? Hope that Lindsay makes a mistake. Well, that's the problem in the second serve, and you don't want to gamble when you're up 6-5 in the tie break. So you mentally, you just, you just oh. you're safe. And that cost her that point, 6-all. And you can tell after that, point was over, Hingis is saying to herself, maybe I should have got that first serve in, or gambled on the second serve. Or maybe directed it to the forehand of Davenport, something different. Or maybe won the 6-4 point <laughs> and not have to serve. That point for Hingis. Six seven. Hingis did a great job of reading that serve from Davenport. She was leaning toward her right, and then I think she felt she had to take advantage of that next ball. Go for it. Well, all the opportunities Lindsay had when she served for the first set two different times, she never got to set point. Now she has. What a set. Disappointment from Hingis as she throws her racket down. Lindsay Davenport has won the first set. Seven, six, nine, seven in the tiebreak. The compact Presario 5. Welcome back to the Pavilion, Villanova University, final day, and we've seen an outstanding final so far. Martina Hingis, Lindsay Davenport, a lot of breaks to serve, Mary Jo. 
think we had like eight in the first set. That's rare to see, especially on an indoor court. Players usually have an easier time holding serve. But Davenport doing a great job in that tie break, coming back, being down three set points. After all the opportunities that she did have earlier in the set, but Hingis has to be a little frustrated because she really did fight hard and had a chance to take it. 68% first serve, that's pretty good from Hingis. Winners 15 to five for Davenport and unforced errors, Hingis with zero, and that's because of those mistakes that she makes are all under a great deal of pressure from Davenport. And that actually goes into what you said at the beginning of the match, Mary Jo, that it is in Lindsay Davenport's hands, this match. I mean, if you can make no mistakes and lose a set. That's a little scary. That's why that set was so close. I think with Davenport hitting so many winners, she would have walked away with it. with a look down after that unforced error at Robert Van Hoff, who's down the far end of the court from where she is. She had a nice look over there and muttered a few things, <laughs> as we all do when we look yes, at our coaches we do. in disgust. What a great coaching relationship Robert Van Hoff and Lucy Danford have had over the past years. It's probably one of the toughest relationships I can think of as an athlete. Basically, uh, living with this person day in and day out. Another lucky net court in Davenport's favor. But Van Hoff has really found a way to give confidence to Davenport and make her believe in herself that she is and can be the best out there and beat all the players. Very loose net court. That's what happens indoors because it's that temporary net. So you don't get the kind of net cords you see at the U.S. Open that bounce about 20 feet high. King is on the other side, a great relationship with her mother, who's her coach. And that's probably even harder. Talk about seeing somebody 24 hours a day. Found a way, though, to make it work. Make it work very, very well. Oh! the server trying to do something that they haven't done since the seventh game of the first set. Hold. Oh. 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 Terrific return from Martina Hingis. Same shot we saw from Davenport to win the first set. Taking that ball nice and early. Finally, Hingis' turn, she's thinking to herself. Break point.
Lowell, his first game in the second set after that nail-biting first set, 7-6. Game point for Davenport. Not having many great rallies to start things off here in the second. I believe that's being overruled then. Unless Ann Lucier Ulrich got the score wrong. Yep. She did not overrule. She just called the score deuce, which gave Hingis the feeling that there was an overrule. Very close on the baseline. And Davenport not waiting for Hingis to argue about this call. Changed over to the other side immediately. Put the pressure on. Well, Hinga's still arguing, but meantime, we're going to tell you about a little women's NCAA basketball. It's a 2001 State Farm tip-off classic, Penn State versus Old Dominion, 130 Eastern, 1030 out West, and then Georgia versus Connecticut, 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific. For more, log on to ESPN.com. second women's basketball game on ESPN at 4 o'clock today. A couple hours after we finish. I guess they should take her time here, get back to this game. Whoa! He says it need to start to out-hit that port. Keep with their game plan. <laughs> Variety chasing a lot of balls down, trying to get a lot of first serves in. from the players this court is fairly slow but not much slow about this shot from Davenport look how well inside the sideline that is and it's still a clean winner against one of the better movers on the tour break point trouble for Hingas she now finds herself down two love in the second set Seems to be rushing right now, Mary Cho. She definitely looks a little rattled, and it just gives me the impression she's trying to hit too hard now. She's trying to slug it out. And that's not her game. That's not the way she's been beating Davenport the last couple times. confident right now that first set definitely gave her a boost that time with a second serve ace her fourth ace of the match 30 love and come back so fast. Lindsay Davenport now with four game 
wins in a row. She's up to set three love. Kinga's better figure something out on this changeover. Walked out, was ready to serve with her racket she's been playing with. Thought, you know what? Maybe it's the racket's fault. New balls. That's probably why. The racket, and she's going to start serving and volleying. We saw this last year when she was in a lot of trouble in the second set. She said, okay, I'm going to do something different. Let's see if she continues here. That's a very makeable volley, that last one. First volley used every bit of her racket on that one. I have to say that was a little bit lucky off the Martina Hingis racket. I don't think she can afford a serve volley off of every single serve against Davenport, who's such a big returner. That one would have been right by her. She's glad that was a fault. And we'll know something really strange has happened if she serves volleys here on the second serve. second serve hit it at 80 miles an hour usually she's in the mid to low 70s with her second delivery one of the best service games so far for martina hingis although davenport not too impressed with the service call hingis gets on the scoreboard in the second set still trailing 3-1 There's another example of the great variety of Hingis. She suddenly turns into a serve volleyer and holds serve to 15. She won Wimbledon over Jana Novotny a few years ago, changed around the complexion of the match by serving the volley. Hingis definitely can adjust and adapt when she needs to, but when you're playing against a player like Davenport who hits the ball so hard off both sides, sometimes there's not much you can do. And Davenport comes at you with all her shots, with her serve, her forehand, her backhand. There's not one side that you can say, okay, if I can keep pounding on the forehand or the backhand, I'll get a slower ball. They're all coming equally as strong. off the Hingis racket. The more stable side, Martina Hingis, that double hand has got a lot of control. 30 all. Say at 30 all, it was a chance for Hingis to perhaps try and get the break back. One quick swing of the racket, and another ace from Davenport. Her third. Four dropped net cord winners too often in a two set match. Who knows? If this goes three, we could see about six or seven of them. Both these players with the ball so flat, they don't have that much height over the net. So you are going to see a few more than 
we were watching Cheeta Martinez and Arantxa Sanchez Macario out here. points of this match. Both players running side to side, hitting penetrating shots. Tina Hing is doing the stretching, though. She's bounced that racket a few times today. doing the scrambling. That's where her fitness and her improved footwork is paying off. Here, taking a deep breath there. She did a lot of running in that point. Gives her another game point. And you wonder if she's not gearing herself up for a big first serve here. I'd like to go for the ace. And Good position, Pam. Lindsay Davenport just two games away from her fourth tournament win of 2000. Get ready. NHL Center Ice is on digital cable. The best NHL action up close and in your face. NHL Center Ice is your ultimate ticket to the coolest game with up to 35 games a week. The best NHL superstars, the best saves, the best goals, the most exciting moments live in your living room on digital cable. Get a full season of NHL excitement now for four easy payments of $37.25. NHL Center Ice is in demand. Call this number to order now. Welcome to Ron Baker Chevrolet Isuzu. Who can get you into a new Chevrolet today? The Baker Man can. Who can get you a big Isuzu rebate with an awesome warranty? The Baker Man can. Who can get you a quality used vehicle at a great price? The Baker Man can. Who can? The Baker Man can. Ron Baker Chevrolet Isuzu on the Mile of Cars in National City. There's something special about football games at night. Uh, there's a certain je ne sais quoi. That's French. <laughs> it's more elegant, more poetic, more, dare I say, sexy. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Yes, it is. The AFC East pole position is up for grabs as Curtis Martin and the Jets clash with the Colts triple threat of Manning, Marvin, and the Edge. Watch the Jets versus the Colts at 8.30 on ESPN Sunday Night Football. It's football after dark. With a victory at this event, Kari Wedd could become the first woman ever to top two million on the LPGA Tour. That's Thursday, three o'clock Eastern. Watch Kari Webb, the Tiger Woods of the LPGA Tour. Suri Pak is defending champion. time for Lizzie Davenport to reach that drop shot, kind of drop half volley there from Martina Hingis. Hingis continuing to serve in volley. But Davenport with no problem getting up and putting that ball away. Second serve for Hingis. Well, it's big trouble. Yeah. I mean, Hingis, she just has to find a way to try and dig out a couple of big points here, get back to 30 all. Oh. It's so hard.
yard. It must be almost a blur to the sidelines, Judge. But it looks like it might have been wide, but Davenport just ripped that return. I mean, it went by so fast. You're right. It has to be tough to call that one. Hey. Triple break point. had trouble when she served for the first set a couple of different times, but now at 5-1 up in the second set, she has two chances to serve for the championship. Peace. 